Hey now, and welcome to Stern Talk, everybody. I'm your host, B.O.S. How's it going? Tonight's episode that I'll be reviewing is Underdog Lady's first appearance on The Howard Stern Show. This video comes from The Howard Stern Channel 9 shows that used to air at 11 o'clock and 11.30, depending on what market you were in. This show used to go head-to-head -head against Saturday Night Live. There's a bunch of different people that Howard talked to in this bit, but I want to concentrate on the underdog lady's appearance. Susan Muldowney, the underdog lady, has been a fixture on the Howard Stern Show for decades, and I can't count how many times she's been on the show. Every time Underdog Lady calls into the show, it's hilarious. I like Underdog Lady a lot, and this is an awesome classic Howard Stern video. So let's check it out together. television personality in the country, the emperor of the airwaves, Howard Stern talks to his audience. Good evening. Tonight, the moment you've been waiting for, Howard Stern will speak to you, the audience. So many of you write to us asking for a meeting with Howard Stern. Tonight, members of our audience will have a chance to address Mr. Stern. <laughs> short. Time Sir, is short. How long have you been waiting to speak to Howard Stern? I'm a one hour. Okay. And you, you, how long have you been waiting? Oh, half an hour. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to throw it to Gary Delabate. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> now, do you understand that there are rules in order to speak to Howard? Yes, I do. And do you know what those rules are? Yes, sir. I'm looking at them now. Well, I'll explain those rules now, and if you follow those rules, you can speak to Howard. Yes, sir. <laughs> Number one, do not look Howard directly in the eyes. Number two, Howard will be referred to at all times as Mr. Stern. Number three, no chewing gum. And number four, do not touch your genital areas at any time. <laughs> Let's get on. And now the man who will listen to all of you, Howard Stern. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And let's keep in mind that time is short. Let's keep in mind that time is short and I have limited energies. From what I can see, the vast majority of you are frightening human beings. And more than a few of you appear to have serious personal hygiene problems. Christ, this is going to be a great TV show, isn't it? <laughs> Now, listen to me carefully. All right, are you ready? I want you to get to the point when you speak to me. That's number one. I want you to get out your point immediately. And if you screw around, you're out of here. If you're boring or stupid, you're out of here. If you make me sick, you're out of here. <laughs> the next studio participant that has been granted an audience with Howard is Suzanne Muldowney. She wishes to dance for you, Howard. Very good. I noticed an unusual costume, Robin. Well, yes, this is the costume worn by the cartoon hero, Underdog. Well, I am uh, aware of this cartoon, Suzanne. Uh, what is it? You are dressed like Underdog for a particular reason? Um, I'm, uh, I'm here to give a dance impersonation of this TV cartoon superhero who originated in 64. I selected him because, like Superman, he was supposed to fly. I originally had seen the 50s Superman TV series and had been attracted to the flying element. So oh. when Underdog came out later, uh, it was a natural. But I'm much more serious in it than the original cartoon character ever was. Let me ask you something, because uh, some people have mistaken you for a Channel 9 executive. <laughs> you are, uh, you no. do not work, you do not work with Channel 9 in any way, do you? Um, no, I was asked to come here. I'm also dead serious about this uh, kind of performance. Well, what you say, get ser are you serious about Underdog? Um, I mean, that um, is a funny kind of thing, isn't it? He, he was originally shown that way, but I didn't like it. And other characters who born at least a generation ago, currently being revived, are made to improve with times. 
Will you be so getting how it? should we look at underdog? The underdog as a more be... meritorious superhero, not so much a cartoon character than he was originally shown. All right. If you're a superhero, that's a step further than just a run-of-the-mill character. All right, very good. Let me see this dance. Let me see if I can uh, somehow treat this seriously. It's hard for me to treat it uh, seriously. Uh, as a matter of fact, after you, John, Stuttering John will be doing his Planet of the Apes dance, <laughs> which is true. All right, go ahead. Let me see some underdog, please. Grant Remember us. flying. Thank you. up my children. <laughs> Robin, what do you think of this down on the floor? What is this? I, I just don't see a reason for it. You don't see a reason for it. We're not sure. <laughs> May I interrupt for a minute? I'm not sure we understand the reason for this. I'm not sure that I, you know. Thank you. I love how seriously Suzanne Muldowney, underdog lady, is about her interpretive dance. From her costume to her choreography, you can tell she's dead serious about this. Suzanne! Is it, no, don't leave. We want to talk Suzanne, to you some more. The, Suzanne, please explain it to us. I'm not sure I understand the reason for underdog. I want to understand. I'm having a hard time here. A great many performing artists have particular character specialties. Uh, underdog, the TV cartoon superhero, is one in my case. I'm sure there are many other guests you've had previously who were performing artists that well, had particular specialties. I only wish for you one day that you meet a man and have a husband and uh, he performs a snagglepuss. <laughs> Thank you. John, show us your dance. Let me see your dance. What is this, Planet of the Apes dance? Very nice. Very good. <laughs> and you know, Howard, not too many people take him seriously either. No. Very good. All right, everybody. There you go. I don't think that's very funny. Nobody thinks that's funny. Bring back the underdog costume. Bring back underdog. I discovered there's a problem in the audience. Now, what is dog woman is very upset. Now, what what is the problem? I thought that uh, we had a good time with you. Is there really a problem? Could that could that be true? I had said that my act was serious, and yet I saw, uh, well, corny lines and that guy doing an ape dance as I was leaving. Um, people were making a mockery of me when I warned them before. It was a serious act. Well, nobody uh, did anything during your act. We enjoyed your act. I don't understand why you're so upset. What is the problem? Howard, she says that her reputation across the country will be destroyed, ruined. Do that many people know you across the country? I thought we were giving you exposure. Well, naturally, people will remember that this particular person did an underdog dance, and if they see it, in, in a bad light. But don't you I'll think never, underdog I'll never is get a little bit to do it anywhere else? Isn't underdog a little bit humorous? Shouldn't we have a good time with underdog? Underdog's I, a friggin' cartoon. I told you I told you before, the original underdog was presented in a humorous vein and it got some negative feedback as a result. So when I decided to do it, it had to be in a more serious vein. And also, I, I also said how a... characters well, wait resurrected a have you after... talked to underdog about the way he'd like to be presented. <laughs> I've, I've, in, I've indicated it in my dance. He has to be more serious, more dignified, and, and more well, sophisticated. Well, he was treated seriously. What is this? I mean, we watched the dance. It was good. We liked it. We what didn't do you know get... what else to do. We applauded. We applauded for I, it. What I do you heard... want me to do for Underdog? It was good. I heard... I heard... Um... They were laughing at that other buffoon. You're the taken seriously. Would you calm down and have fun tonight? Have a good time here. I think she's... Come on. Yeah. Have a good time. Have a good time. What? What's the matter with you? So she wants to know if you want her back. I think she wants to do it. You want to do, do it again? Or a little bit more, but there's other people who need time. You have to understand that. You Underdog can't is a hog. Underdog is really hogging the spotlight. <laughs> you got to understand there are other people. We don't have time for a lot of underdog. I mean, it's good, but it's not that good, right? It just... I want you to notice that uh, Melrose Larry Green... Sitting in the front row next to Underdog Lady, he is so annoying. 
has to be shown in a respectful All manner. Right, the way other see the characters way you want to are see made it. to improve with time and not stay the exact same way. What was that? Quite frankly, I don't think she looks much like Underdog. You really don't look like Underdog. It stems from some ballet costuming. Uh, a lot of professional dancers portraying birds or animals retain their human face and body lines so as not to hamper their dancing. I gotta ask my, you my hound, Underdog. My, my hair Underdog. looks enough like the hound ears without a, a mask. You make a living doing this? Um, it's, sor it's sort of on the side. Anywhere I get a chance to do it. What is that, Gary? Boy, Gary Delabate has a word now for me. I understand that uh, Suzanne travels all over the country performing at schools, uh, and you usually pay your own way, is that correct? Yes. She will fly anywhere in the country. What school is that? Jupiter? Imagine. Jupiter school? Utah, anywhere. Utah school? Just a, a public events and such that, that are interested enough to want me to come out and do it. What is going on in the schools? If, you know, no offense, but people shouldn't be dancing in school. They should be learning about... No wonder Johnny can't read. He's watching underdog dance. No wonder the Japs have beaten us. <laughs> but go ahead, let me see some serious underdog, all right? Wow. I'm hearing signals. I'm telling you right now. There they are. Wow. Thank you. There we go. Wow. I'm leaving now, ladies and gentlemen. I've had enough. I've seen enough and I've heard Thank enough. You. That's all, Robin. How I'm leaving. Good night, everyone. Finished? Howard Stern is leaving the room. There is no more time to speak with the award-winning Howard Stern, winner of the Billboard Award, the New Music Award, and the Weekly Reader Celebrity of the Week. Yeah, I'm to talk to you. Hi, how are you? How are you? Well, I think I did okay, but I should have been treated with more respect because my act is simply not meant to be taken uh, in, in a humorous light. Well, I mean... You know, it's Underdog was a humorous character. That's why they. Well, but well, his creators chose to make him that way. But like I said, there was there was a lot of negative feedback. So I decided when I did it, I had to do it in a better vein. And like I said, yeah. other characters okay. resurrected after a while have to improve. Do you think like Superman could beat Underdog in a fight? Who do you think would win in a fight? I think they're both equally matched because they both. How about Batman? Uh, no, they would both beat out Batman because he does not fly. Uh, Superman flew, and Underdog was patterned after Superman, so he flew okay, too. Okay, I, I noticed you were a little angry at my because I, I, you know, my favorite character is the King of the Apes, Cornelius. You didn't but, like my, you know. Um, you didn't have. Well, you weren't costumed accordingly, and you also did your act as sort of a humorous, uh, distasteful follow-up to a serious act. All right. Well, you know, do, do you know who Cornelius is? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Do you know who Cornelius is? Yes, I know who he is, but your interpretation of him, and especially in the wake of my act, was in bad taste. Oh, so you're mad at me? Um, well, let's say that uh, too much of that, like I said, um, too much unnecessary humor can ruin a guest's reputation. Oh, are, you a, are you a fan of Howard Stern, though? I, I never even heard of the show until this week when Channel 9 asked me to do this. Um, do, 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 do you think Cornelius could beat on the dog in a fight? Um, I don't think so, well, because he doesn't have superpowers. Um, but let ape, me say... Ape strength is strong. Hmm? Ape, apes are very strong. But, but they do, but they, but those particular apes were not created as having superpowers. And Underdog does. Yes. But if Underdog doesn't have his little pill, then he can't do anything. Uh, he's endowed with a certain level of strength, the way every living being is. He was just subject, sometimes, to tiring out and having to use the pill as a recuperative. It was not his source of strength. He, he had strength naturally, the way everybody does, but his creator said that sometimes he should wear down and have to take the pill as a recuperative. I didn't... Uh, you didn't laugh once in the sec. Could you, could you just laugh once with the character? <laughs> cool. All right, thanks um, a lot. Let me say a final thing. Uh, people who are interested in seeing Underdog impersonated through dance, the way I do, but in a more sophisticating and serious vein, uh, should look me up. The, the, the method is dance, but it's much more serious because he does needs under, to improve with time. Does Underdog perform bodily functions at all? Underdog? Does Underdog, like, go to the bathroom? I don't know about that, but he is made to do the other normal bodily functions. Uh, what kind of food does he eat? Uh, just about anything. Well, uh, your overwhelming majority of fictional characters, superheroes or not, will, will eat human food. In fact, uh, you, in fact, there are numberless cartoon characters in animal form, but they act infinitely more human. Do you think Underdog, like, farts? 
that, that, that's that's a disrespectful statement. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just curious. They, and and no other uh, respectable I mean, fictional fought, right? character. Oh, I'm sorry. Enough. Okay, I'm sorry. No, no other respectable cartoon character. If they're meant, if they're created to set a good example, they will not be made to do that, and they, and they especially well, will not be addressed normal, in those words. No, well, well, that's just a normal just, function. Just, well, well, not well. Using those obscene words okay. is not a good All right. example. Okay, I'm sorry. As a superhero, he had to set a good example. Oh, I see. All right. Well, listen. You know, I hope you had a good time. Oh, give me another laugh, cause that was sweet. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Can you do this? Can you do that? that that's, uh, that's not authentic to his character. No, no, I mean, no, I know. I mean, could you do that? Oh, oh, oh you're it's, only... Oh, okay. It's, it's, not, it's not in good taste. All right. Well, they, oh, could you quote a line from Underdog? Like, you know, like, take my secret energy pill every time I reach you now? Mm -hmm. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Thanks a lot. Take care, huh? Watch the hallway. Take care, Underdog. Goodbye. Goodbye, Underdog. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, wait, 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 wait. Be careful on the dog. Yo. No, no. All right, on the dog. Yeah, come on down. I don't want you to get hurt, you know what I mean? Be careful on the dog. All right, I'll see you. Okay, take care, all right? Hope you had fun. I'll see you. Good you. Well, there it is. That's an awesome video. I dig Underdog Lady a lot. Uh, as you can see there, they uh, were referring to her at first as Underdog Woman. Eventually, she became Underdog Lady, and then they just uh, referred to her as Underdog. Like I said, uh, Underdog Lady has appeared on uh, the Howard Stern Show over the last uh, two decades so many times. Uh, she mostly calls in, but... Uh, Every time she calls in, I enjoy it. I believe that uh, Underdog Lady or Underdog is one of the most underrated whack packers there is. A lot of people don't uh, think she's a whack packer, but uh, she's appeared on Howard Stern enough times to be uh, in the whack pack. I also love at the end there when uh, she she wanted to have a serious debate with uh, Stuttering John about her dance interpretation of Underdog. Uh, she she takes it dead serious and. Uh, she wasn't uh, about to break character either when, when John was trying to interview her there. Uh, she stayed uh, true to her character. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did. And if you did, please come on back to my channel and hit the subscribe button. I have a bunch of videos lined up that I'm going to be posting real soon. So until then, everybody, take it easy.